What is going on, you guys? Back at it with some Red Dead. Um, you know, honestly, let's start getting let's, let's get into some missions right away. Um, you know what? Let's just fucking do Dutch's mission. You know, just get his I've mission over with. Your opinions, miss. Is that so? Oh shit! Oh, what the hell, man? I was listening to that, dude. That's. Now make yourself useful. And the oh. first part of useful is not driving me insane with your constant complaining. Oh. I ain't complaining. You are. Complain, complain, complain. Oh, snap. Uh, that doesn't sound too good. How you doing, old friend? <laughs> old friend? I thought we were still friends, bro. It's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. <laughs> I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. That's we true enough, man. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. I'll be honest. I wouldn't we mind living day. back in back this in these nice days, out. man. Like Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Oh, we're going fishing. Man. <laughs> Is that Sean right there, dude? Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing crick? in? Crick? Is that what he just did? He said crick? Too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over Dutch. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble bursting. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Yeah, you guys get on your horses. I'm gonna brush my horse a little bit. Look kind of dirty. Arthur, what are you doing? Hey, my horse needs some brushing. Fuck you. Will you get cool, back girl. on the horse? I'm going, bitch. I'm Dude, his horse through. is so white, yeah, bro. Okay. You okay, Lenny? Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. <laughs> it feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe. You can breathe again. Yeah, right, Thick and girl. soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. I Feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me not against me both of you of course mm. still we do need money so keep a low profile especially in the local town after valentine i want everyone on best behavior here no trouble but start turning over the soil and the rocks see what turns up dutch we've got to be discreet imagine what a slew of rich Simple tins there must be down here. Oh, ho, ho. this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but... Looks like law up ahead. Playing cool. Hold. Oh. Wait. Is that Trelawney in there? <laughs> well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Well, well, look, look who it is. <laughs> Fucking Trelawney. 
How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what <laughs> I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. And do not shoot them, you hear me? Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Pull me off. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Callahan. Mr. Callahan, please. Where the hell does that come from? Here. God damn it. I've heard that name before. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Don't all deputies. Are you gonna let him beat you up like that, bro? Run! Don't let them get away! No shit, Sherlock. Get a knife. Can't do that. Need some gin? Come on. This is not killing. What the hell? Do it. Come on, bro. Shit, there we go. As soon as he loses the knife, bro. We're gonna start beating on his ass. Come on! Come on! I'm right out here if you need me. Bow. <laughs> Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Damn, he got slashed up, man. I literally couldn't block any of those fucking knife attacks right there. Bring him out here. Oh, you want to open the hey, door? Hey. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? 
I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Anders Anderson. What a name, bro. Fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Anders Come Anderson. I can't you get it. Who names true. their kid that? Anders Anderson. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Careful! Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Yeah, that's years. a big ass house Sheriff over Gray's there. The one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which of course town? they do. Road, sir. You don't know it? I hope we get to rob with that right at now. one point, like, Ain't you know. What it was uh. before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaite's. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Hmm, I wonder. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Guess I've seen it okay, all now. we're going to stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's oh. office. I Can thought this was the sheriff's office. Off your horse and carry him in for me. I guess. Chop, chop. Don't just leave them slumped on there for the whole town to see. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! Oh, shit. <laughs> Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However... I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. No, well, mostly. We're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where mm. have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins and oh. not marrying... Oh, Arthur. That's... Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Gold, what was it? Gold embezzlement okay. or fraud? So these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Hosea, 
You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? I'll go fishing, sure, I guess. Why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us? I just heard something. Who said that? About? Something about the gunsmith. I like this place. I'm gonna have to okay. go check that out. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Where's my oh yeah, I gotta It is dusty as Go can be up here. Holy creek. Jesus of Christ. It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something. But his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Trelawney's like a bad penny. I'm not sure how good a magician he is, but he's certainly good at disappearing when he feels like it. Where does he go? Everywhere and nowhere, it seems. Yeah, he wouldn't obviously. have got Sean back if he hadn't been weaseling around down that way, though. Hey, Dutch, remember that time you found him in the outhouse? <laughs> oh, yeah. We hadn't seen him in weeks. We stopped in some dead-end town in the middle of nowhere. Don't even remember the name. You and Bill were off doing something, Arthur. <laughs> so, we pick up some supplies. I go to relieve myself, open the door, and there's Trelawney, sitting there, newspaper in hand. Mr. Vanderlyn, I say, what the hell are you doing here? And he said, I could ask you the same thing. <laughs> now, if you wouldn't mind giving me a little privacy, I ate a rotten oyster. <laughs> hey, maybe there are actually a hundred Trelawneys. What a terrible thought. This is the spot, down to the left there. Wait, isn't this the spot me and uh, we went through with Charles to find the new, our new little spot, I guess, or a camp? I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Hey, those are the boats you mean? Yes, good. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. Mm -hmm. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. He just spit in, in his hands. Good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too mm. dumb for anything else. <laughs> <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. Now take us to the deeper water and pray for. Good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. 
Head towards the middle of the lake. You know how big of an arm workout that must be, so. dude? Like, All oh, right. Jesus. Good luck, gentlemen. You won't catch much without a rod. Oh, shut should really up. come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake. Oh. Or that'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. Strong with good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the oh moving. shit! What was that? Slowly on the water, so it looks like a little fish just. I don't know if you guys saw that. At the bottom left, the like, fish just almost jumped into the boat. I got a bite. Ha! Got ya! Damn it! I lost him. That's on the hook, Arthur. Oh, I forgot how to reel. They're nibbling. There he is. <laughs> hey, what look is, at this. Is that a largemouth bass? There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger yeah. than that. Father well, told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not oh, this again. <laughs> I don't think I do. I don't know what happened. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week... Is that a trout? Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. Oh my god, dude. That literally sounds something like you would do. I used to go like fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge. And out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, Felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Nicely done, Arthur. Damn, another one. That'll grill up nice. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. Is that another bass? Yeah. Back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. There we go. Did I ever tell you my mother? That's a fat ass bluegill. What really? the hell? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. 
She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Well done. Okay, I'm probably gonna do one more, and then we should probably keep going through the missions here. So we don't just fish all fucking day. <laughs> Got a nibble there, Arthur? No, bro, you screwed me over. That feels like a bite. No, that that, that was mine, bro. Oh my god. Arthur's got a bite. There we go. I'm saying it's another trout. Was that? It is another trout. Let's go. Good job, Arthur. That one looks a lot smaller than the other ones, though. Make sure you don't forget about that and let it rot in the bag. Obviously. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent uh. haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, all right. I got one for you. Oh, no. I... That girl to give me some. Mm -hmm. I said, girl to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. What kind of song is this? I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Tater got burnt and so did I. Mm. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? The air is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round and round and round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain. But we care for the merchant men who we'll do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground. These guys are terrible singers. <laughs> Not let the folks back camp. Think we had too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> All right. I think I. Well, I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in... 
I'll give these fish to Pearson. Arthur! Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Oh, don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a... Just a few bucks, and I'm short. Get lost. Well, oh, I'll go try someone with a heart. <laughs> complain, complain, complain! I ain't complaining, I'm just saying. You're not saying, miss. You're shouting! Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill you. Sorry, somebody. Jose. If you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. No, chill, you chill. Come near me, sailor, and I'll. What is wrong with you two? I ain't chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. I stood there laughing and crying. And rather than kill me, they took me and got me some food. My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, well, they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. Yeah, I could say the same, to be honest. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are going to take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and... Can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? <laughs> Damn, she just wanted to kill Pearson. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping? Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> uh. You cool down then yet? I guess. No, I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweat and half wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, Princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Well, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. <clears throat> there. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy, you are some man. I haven't heard from you in some time, so I pray to the Lord above. Oh shit! I already missed my turn. Your health has not deteriorated further. Blah blah blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> yeah, okay, you ever Pearson. Actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for. Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All mail to be sent to the same alien. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tacitus Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. <laughs> Here, give me that back. We got work to do. Okay, here we are. So, what's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you- No! You insane! I thought we was outlaws. Outlaws, not idiots. We rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So Man, this bitch has got a book and trying to blast the motherfucker. No guns. You're sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Really? Really? You gotta just piss right there, man? That's kind of fucked. 
Harold? Harold? What the fuck, man? Let me through. Careful there. Yeah, hey, shut up, bitch. I wasn't even talking to your bitch ass. Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. All right. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Bye now. Well, there it is. I should probably eat something, huh, real quick. Uh, let's see here. Oh man, I'm running low on some food. I'm gonna have to buy some food at one point, or cook some food, I should say. I burnt bowls with more strength than you. Hell, my sister's newborn had more strength than you, and he came out bright blue. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. Well, give it back then. Jesus. I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Why don't you drive? Okay. Come on, lady. Get a move on. I like Sadie, not lady. I know. Ha! <laughs> so, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the world. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. <clears throat> I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well, my house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you, you know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know. Nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Mm -hmm. Just don't kill the camp cook. Mm. Hey there! Hey. The hell you what, fucking? Uh, what you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in Lemoyne Raider country. Keep it cool. You Steve. need to pay a toll to pass through here. Man. Oh, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey, how's about this? Go, go, go. Did she even... Shit. Man, Sadie, God! Sadie, did you even kill the bastard? And then you missed your shot too, man. That's fucked up, Sadie. That's fucked up. That's real fucked up. Well, you wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your wish. You okay there, Sadie? I don't really got. I've killed most of them. What are you talking about? Sadie, there's no one left. What are you Don't shooting at? Ooh, letter. Hello. Probably shouldn't linger here too I'm long. writing to let you know our raise against us. Are you coming there? Shut up! Oh my god, dude, I'm coming. Trying to read some letters here, and I can't even read them because of you, goddammit. No, pass those reins here. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Here. We showed 
those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring anyone sniffing around. Are you gonna tell Dutch? Maybe. If he asks. But maybe not. Careful now. So who did they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway, don't you go ribbing Pearson about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of bottles. Not a chance. <laughs> you didn't get yourself killed then, Miss Adler. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I... I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh... Mrs. Adler did okay. That shopping? Yes, that shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, mm. they say I lack finesse, but... I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And nice pants, by the way. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Good evening. Good job finding this spot. You found it too. I wouldn't have. If you hadn't talked me into it. I don't know where my. Oh, it's right over here. another day. Oh my god, dude. Strauss has another mission. More missions for us. I'm gonna shoot myself. Um. Oh shit, that's not where I need to go actually. I need to go to um Where is it actually? Yo, actually, good question. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. Hi. Even. Damn, you sound depressed as fuck. Miss O'Shea. I'm officially broke again. Okay, I think we'll be able to get in one more mission. I don't know if we should do these though. Let's let's just do a home robbery and then we'll end off the episode. Oh no, he's drunk. You know, my father had wells all down his back. He was raised a slave. Whoa, 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 bro! Don't be Not saying that. Busy. Oh my! I yeah. gotta blur. I gotta Heard bleep that out. Could be interesting. What kind of a house. I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That well, sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. We ain't taking a look. We full out robbing it's these on mofos. <laughs> on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best oh. way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less.
Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. Wait, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Go this way. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <laughs> no, great. You just keep selling me on this job, don't you? That's a really fucking big spot. Big place. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. But this could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. We're basically all the way up at the mountains again, man. Jesus. This is going to be a long ride back to camp. That's for damn sure. All these trees. I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. The coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Keep it down. I hear voices. He says keep it down. This guy's still wa like standing up full way. Like, okay. There's someone Come on the on. damn roof. Let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes I was. You can only get all the now day long. Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. What the? You to pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? Oh no, what is he doing? Oh, I think he's just a little match, yep. <laughs> nice. Oh shit, he almost saw me, man. What the hickory happened here? What the hickory happened here?
shot. Damn, I blasted his eyeball out. Dude, I shot her like right in the damn jaw. Has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. I don't know, man, but I'm Yo, making okay. bank over here. Give me a hand. Yeah, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh. What am I doing? Told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. <coughs> Can we go inside this building? Like, where the hell is the door to this? When to get shot, I'm gonna take a gun out just in case. There's like nothing in here, man. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys do leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you guys want me to play anything or if you guys have any uh, anything you guys want me to do in the game particularly. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next episode.